What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Luke's product reviews. Now Luke's in my opinion is the best social proof app out there for Shopify and in today's video I'm going to show you everything needed to know to successfully get started using Luke's. Now to begin with head over to the Luke's app, I will leave you a link for that down below. By using that link you can actually support me for completely free. Now make sure to just install the app right here and then when actually moving forward for this Luke's is going to be installed onto your Shopify dashboard. Of course, if you don't already have a Shopify store, I will also leave you a link to a free trial down below. Either way, once we are right here, we can actually get started with a Luke's free trial. Now Luke's as of right now does offer two different plans. First of all, the beginner plan as well as scale plan. I'm going to go for the scale plan as for this video. However, the beginner plan does, that does work just as fine if you're just starting out. So I'm just going to get started with that. And now Luke's is going to basically, basically you will have to approve this subscription. And now Luke's is going to actually walk you through some simple setup, setup questions which you will have to answer. So right here we will just have to click on continue. Then we will have to set our primary store, in, uh, store language. In my case, this would be English. And then we can continue with this. Now, one thing which I like about Luke's is that actually their whole product review widgets and so on are super customized and tailored to your own brand and to, our, to your own store identity essentially. And they do this by, for example, letting you choose the brand color, icon color, icon style and so on. So let's, for example, get started by changing changing the brand color to something, I guess something bluish could work. I'm just obviously making an example right now. And then we can actually also change the icon style to whatever we want. So for example, we could use the fire icon and I'm then going to just uh, make this red. Now I think something like this could actually work. Then we are, can actually also customize the reviews widget layout. I'm going to leave it at the default as I think this one does work, basically does work and does look the best. And now we can click on continue. Now, one thing which Lux does very well is that actually they do have special systems in place to kind of get you guys more reviews. And they do that by, for example, sending out emails after a customer purchase. So right here, you can actually select when those emails are going to be sent out. I would recommend you to just leave it at 14 days after fulfillment. And then we can actually also select if we do want to offer a discount for photo and video reviews. This is just another way of actually increasing the actual reviews which you are going to get on your store. Of course, you can actually also just untick this if you don't want to offer this. However, I think it's a great way of actually getting more reviews. So I'm going to leave it at 10% for photos and 15% for videos. Now we can continue. And if you do want to, you can actually also set up Luke's referrals. This actually also is a great way of getting more, basically more customers and more revenue onto your store for virtually nothing. This is just going to be a couple of clicks and you can then actually kind of passively earn more money. So as you can see right here, after someone purchased, this is then going to basically display the referrals widget. And you can then actually also display the referrals widget on site. In my case, I'm not going to do that. I think the best way of actually getting referrals is after a purchase or after someone has received the exact item, which you can actually also set up. Now I'm going to click on continue now, and then we will have to set up the referral discount and rewards. So for example, we can say that the friend is going to get 10% and the reward is going to be $5. Now, of course, you can also set the minimum purchase amount if you do want to. As of right now, I'm just going to leave it at the default. To now get started, we will have to actually enable Luke's on our theme. We can do this by right here on the left, making sure that Luke's is enabled and by then saving this exact uh, thing right here. Then we can click on continue. Now we can add the product re reviews widget onto our store. So once again, just follow the steps. This is going to be pretty self-explanatory. And now Lux is actually going to add the product reviews widget. And right here, this is then going to basically have some sample reviews. Once again, make sure to save this. Otherwise it isn't going to work. And then add the rating widget onto your store. This is going to be also another way of displaying social proof. Of course, there are also other widget types, which we're going to go over in just a second. Either way, once you do have the rating widget right here, I would actually recommend you to 
kind of drag this up to i kind of like it like to have it under the price right here i think like this it does actually look the best now of course you can then actually also customize this rating widget so to do that you can just select it and then i'm for example going to change the widget alignment to center i think that just does work way better however you can actually also further customize this by showing all reviews by opening a floating product reviews widget on click and so on but as of right now, I'm just going to leave it at the default and I'm going to close this for now. So when you're now going to continue, basically you're set. To get started, you can actually import reviews if you do want to. Now we are going to have three different options for this. First of all, we can simply just import AliExpress reviews. This is a great option. However, we can actually also import reviews from supported apps like Shopify product reviews, Yotbo, or Okendo or Judge.me, or you can simply just import reviews from a spreadsheet. Now, one thing which I want to mention about the one-click import from AliExpress, this is super easy. Just make sure to actually enable your uh, bookmarks bar right here then drag this onto the bookmarks bar and you can then basically go to any aliexpress product and you can import the reviews within a few clicks so as you can see i've now opened up a product on aliexpress and when i'm now going to click on this right here we can first of all select the product where we want to import the reviews onto then we can select if we do want to actually um, define the rating so i'm just going to select four stars and up we can actually also allow reviews from certain amount certain countries and we can then actually also translate all reviews to english so you are then going to have some other options i'm just going to click on preview and import and now you can actually import all of the reviews you can actually also reject some if you do want to as of right now i'm just I, I just imported some example reviews and now these are going to show up on looks so let's actually let's actually head back to the reviews tab right here and now when we are going to click on manage reviews we can see that we actually imported three reviews of course you should actually add some more reviews make sure to add around 50 reviews like this you are going to see the most amount of results now once you've then actually imported your reviews you can then actually also customize everything so you can do this by actually putting in different kind of reviews widget so you are going to get a lot of different options for this first of all the product reviews widget this would just be the normal widget which we've just created we are then also going to have the rating widget we also already have added this however you are also going to get a pop-up widget reviews sidebar widget looks trust patch snippet widget happy customer page and so on now now, let me actually quickly go over three to four which i actually recommend you to add first of all make sure to always add the product reviews widget this is going to be crucial and the rating widget also is a must have now i think the pop-up widget actually also is super nice so i'm going to activate this and the snippets widget does also do wonders because this is just another great way of displaying social proof right on top at the product page so i'm actually also going to add that to the theme and now this is once again going to redirect us so right here as you can see on the Da, da, da. as you can see right here it got added i'm once again going to drag this all to the top and now we do have just another way of actually displaying social proof and now whenever someone is going to click on this widget this they are then going to see the review and they can then actually see what kind of different kind of selling points your product has and then on the left on the bottom left right here you're then also going to see the pop-up widget in place this also just is another great way of actually displaying social proof and the cards currently sell widget also is one of my favorites now alternatively with looks you are also going to have the option to basically create referrals as i've already showed you beforehand and you can then actually also integrate upsells onto your store if you want to and this is just another way of actually improving your overall store revenue just within a few clicks now with that being said i will actually leave you a link to looks in the description down below by using that link you can support me for completely free as always if you have any more questions make sure to leave them in the comments down below and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching i will see you in the next one